The Honduran white bat makes little tents out of the leaves of the heliconia plant, then rests in them during the day. They make sure they build their nests a short distance from a particular type of fig tree, for the bat only eats the fruit of this tree. Once the tent is built, it can hold up to 15 of the tiny bats. Males visit female roosts to mate, but other than this, adult males and females live separately. The Honduran bat is one of a handful of bats whose fur is completely white. It creates tents by biting through the ribs of tree leaves. It only eats the fruit of one type of fig tree. It has a yellow nose, lips, and ears because carotenoids, the pigments that give carrots their orange color, are deposited in these areas of the bat's body. It has a nose shaped like a leaf. Some scientists believe this helps the bat in echolocation. Since it flies at night and its eyesight isn't too good, echolocation helps the bat find food. This little bat is distinguished by its all-white fur and leaf-shaped nose. It has no tail, and it ranges from 1.46 to 1.85 inches in length, with a wingspan of about 4 inches. Its ears are large and round and serrated around the edges, with 4 to 5 tiny lobes. The edge of the nose is also saw-toothed, and it has what appears to be tiny warts beneath its mouth. Males are believed to be slightly larger than females. The bat's weight is about 0.20 ounces, and it has 28 teeth. One of the most fascinating things this small, flying mammal does is construct leaf tents. They make them mostly out of the leaves of heliconias, a large tropical flowering plant. The bat uses its teeth to cut out the side veins that grow out of the rib of the plant's large leaves. This causes them to fold over and form a tent. The bat prefers younger leaves because they are easier to manipulate and bite through. An ideal leaf is less than 6.6 .6 feet above the ground between 2.6 and 3.9 feet long. The bat also prefers their tent to be in an area where there aren't too many plants in the understory, but a high density of plants in the upper canopy. The former makes it easier for the bat to leave the tent, and the latter protects the tent and its occupants from the weather. Bats build a series of tents and alternate between them. It prefers to build tents next to its food source, a fig tree. A Honduran white bat is very hard to see in its tent because a trick of the sunlight turns their fur the same green color as the leaf. Scientists also believe that the sight of the white fur mimics a wasp's nest, and this deters predators. Tents usually hold five female bats and one male who mates with all of them before he flies off to a bachelor colony. A larger tent can hold as many as 15 bats. The Honduran white bat specializes in figs, especially the fruit of the ficus colubrini tree. If it can't find fruit on this type of fig, it will use other fig trees such as ficus shippii. F. Colubrini is able to produce a lot of fruit and produce it year-round. But scientists aren't quite sure how the bat can stay healthy on such a limited diet. The Honduran white bat is considered a new species because it was only discovered in 1892, then discovered all over again in 1963. As of 2021, its population is in decline, largely because of habitat destruction as the forests where it lives are converted into farmland and suburbs. The Honduran white bat's conservation status is considered near-threatened. The bat's predators are carnivores that can find and reach their roosts, either by flying or climbing. These include owls and other birds of prey, snakes, and monkeys including squirrel monkeys and capuchin monkeys. The Honduran white bat does not seem to be subject to parasites or diseases that attack them specifically. Their tents protect them from rain, wind, and the heat of the sun. Mortality seems to come largely from predation.
The Honduran white bat breeds during the warmer, wetter months in Central America. Females release pheromones to signal their readiness to mate. One male mates with the females in a roost then returns to his bachelor colony when they give birth. All the females in the roost give birth around the same time. After about three weeks of pregnancy, each female has one baby or pup. Pups are weaned and flying at 20 days. They are completely independent when they are 35 days old and can scarcely be told from an adult. Though scientists aren't sure how long Honduran white bats live in the wild, a similar species can live as long as 19.5 years while in captivity.